boys get Josh boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're going to talk about a Hall of Famer having some disparaging words about LA Knight, man. Um, this has been uh, all over my social media and I wanted to talk about it because I thought it was very interesting what this Hall of Famer had to say. So we're going to get right into the article, man. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard about this. So I definitely wanted to give my input on what was said so kevin nash had something to say about la night and the only one that sees an absolute ripoff of the rock it's gonna be very interesting to see exactly what he had to say because uh that definitely didn't sound uh, positive we found one of those critics la night was responding to in interviews last week <clears throat> on the latest episode of his click the podcast wwe hall of famer kevin nash and his co-host sean oliver discuss among many other things who might follow roman reigns as wrestling's next big star the phrase the next rock or stone cold gets used uh, a couple of times which reminded nash that he wanted to get something off his chest about fan favorite night I am the only one that sees an absolute ripoff of The Rock to point where he cut the promo on fucking Logan Paul or whatever the fuck his name is. He said, yes, yeah, stick it. The only thing he didn't do was turn the motherfucker sideways. Jesus Christ. What does everybody, uh, uh, what does, uh, everybody have amnesia? There's some, there's nothing original. Oh man, his promo is fucking his pro oh, oh man, his promo, his fucking promos. Finally, LA Knight has come back as a white guy, fucking uncle. Now, this uh, very well may be Big Sexy's, <laughs> the fact that they said called him that, Big Sexy's honest take on LA, uh, LA, but I'll offer a couple pieces of context before we get into the pitchforks and torches, uh, before we get out the pitchforks and torches. Nash has been known to have some fun on his pod, even about subjects that he may that that he may be uh shouldn't his mocking of night strikes me as a steve austin and i gave uh up watching aew for lint then aew wrestlers need more reps is what i'm saying the opening stretch of this episode is a story about how uh stone he sean waltman and scott hall got from an edible before taping a click theme episode of WWE table for the three back in 2016. And Nash says he's hopped up on that liquid THC before launching into that story. So C point numero uno. Now feel free to talk to us about Diesel's quotes about LA. You can listen to them yourself here. Well, look, I think that's kind of a cop out to be honest with you. It's really a cop out. If that's how he feels, that's how he feels. I'm not knocking him for his opinion, but I have to give some uh, criticism there. First things first, there are a lot of rock comparisons. Like, if you really think about it, like if you just close your eyes and actually just listen to how he delivers a promo and how he even talks, he sounds like a young rock. So I get that. The infamous promo that he's talking about is the promo they had before Money in the Bank and him pretty much you know, running down the competitors, especially Logan Paul, ahead of Money in the Bank. And I thought it was nice. You can say, oh, yeah, he did the whole stick it sideways and, and shove it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, you can say that's kind of a ripoff of what The Rock used to say. But it's not like he says that every week. That was just in that moment, in that situation. And if you want to be honest here, we got to be honest here. Wrestling has always been known. For people ripping off of other people's gimmicks or taking inspiration from other people's gimmicks. If you want to be, if you want to be completely honest here, let's let's keep it a buck. A lot of things that we've seen for our fa from our favorite wrestlers have came from other wrestlers before them. I'm just be honest. A lot of these catchphrases and sayings and and how people their mannerisms they're usually inspired by somebody else. So if he's inspired by The Rock, which you can tell. That's fine, but he's still LA Knight is still his own person. If if we're going off of Kevin Nash's logic, then at the end of the day, everyone having this cool one-liner catchphrase that can be a derivative from something from someone else, from something else. Like the yes chance is derivative from the what chance. 
him having that LA night, yeah, the yeah chance, that can be derivative from a, a what chance? Are we supposed to sit there and knock him for it? If it gets over, then why not? I'm sure people have compared him to The Rock before, but guess what? If he's over, does it matter? It's not like he's copying The Rock. He's not like he's doing a, if you smell, like, there's nothing like that. So, I don't know, maybe it, it gives me that, oh, I'm, I'm kind of stuck in my old ways. I don't really see nothing special in this guy type attitude. And to be honest with you, wrestling has always had that, especially with backstage politicking. There's been a lot of people that didn't feel like certain people, you know, should be there or should be at the top of the card. It's always been like that. And it's, there's no there's no denying it that Kevin Nash has been one of those people that will voice his opinion on if he felt like someone was a big star or not. It's the truth. Even when he was wrestling. Behind the scenes. So, am I surprised by this by Kevin Nash? No. That's his personal opinion. He doesn't see the hype. That's fine. It's not meant for him to see the hype. It's meant for WWE and everyone else that goes to these shows to see the hype. So if we're going off of Kevin Nash's logic, then there's not really, there's barely any original thoughts and ideas in wrestling altogether. Because if you want to be honest, your favorite wrestler got inspiration or took something from somebody and made it their own. So just because he that said that shove it line, I don't know if I'm going to, you know, ridicule LA Knight because of that. I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to, Go at LA Knight. Oh, he, he's trying to be like The Rock. No, he's trying to be like LA Knight. So comment down below. Let me know how y'all feel about Kevin Nash's comments. I think, you know, he's entitled to his own opinion, but I think it, it becomes a slippery slope if you were for going off of his logic of no one coming up with an original idea when most of wrestling has been forged or some of the best moments and best characters in wrestling has been forged from somebody else's inspiration i don't know but let me know how y'all feel about that down below but i appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel road to 150k and i'm still young to be the youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all keeping me see y'all next one peace